Hi, we're here with Gina Park. She's a product line manager at Texas Instruments. She's going to tell us a little bit about an interesting application for TI's DLP optics chip. Gina, these things are usually used for displays. You've actually got this thing used in a spectrometer. Tell us how, how you do that and why you would do it. Sure. Um, yes, the uh, array of millions of micromeres in the DLP chip is it's very powerful and very versatile for lots of uses. What we have here is an evaluation module that uses a DLP chip for a, a spectrometer reference design. Uh, if you look at this graphic behind me, I'll show you how it works. What you have is incoming white light. Uh, that white light gets dispersed by a grating and it basically uh, creates um, a dispersion or a rainbow across the face of the micromirror chip. Um, what that does is it allows the DLP chip to be highly programmable and select particular wavelengths. You then pass those wavelengths through a sample. That sample could be a liquid or a solid and um, the optical characteristics uh, of those wavelengths are either being absorbed or transmitted. And that's how you can detect a chemical signature of a substance uh, using DLP chips. Now that information goes to a single point detector in this architecture, and that's actually um, one of the big value propositions for this architecture. Uh, what we are doing is we're displacing the, the high cost uh, linear array detectors that are commonly found in spectrometers, and then providing a lot of uh, programmability with the DLP chip and a very small form factor at a low cost. One of the questions uh, design engineers might have about this is the um, degree to which you can resolve a signal. Uh, can you speak to that? Sure. Um, at the end of the day, our customers have the flexibility to design a system um, and, and make a lot of uh, trade-offs based on their requirements. This particular evaluation module has been tested to 30,000 to 1 signal-to-noise ratio, which competes with uh, off-the-shelf systems that can range in the $20,000 mark. So, What about the um range of wavelengths this thing could be sensitive to. Speak to that. Sure. Um, uh, DLP chips commonly used in display uh, tend to range in the 420 to 700 nanometer range, which is visible light. Uh, we offer a DLP chip solution that ranges from 700 to 2500 nanometers, uh, commonly referred to as the near-infrared range. And uh, in this range, uh, it becomes very useful for the spectroscopy market because uh, different components in the pharmaceutical, food, oil and gas industries uh, have materials that are detected in the near-infrared range. So if you've got, a, got food and you suspect it's got um, antifreeze in it, you could check that out with us. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Do you have a feel for what kinds of applications this might um, usher in as far as spectroscopy? I would imagine there's some things become possible with this that were really impossible before because of cost. Yes, and actually um, one of the main uh, uh, intentions of, of designing an evaluation module of this size is that a lot of analysis is being done where you have to go get the sample from the field and bring it back to a lab. And what we're trying to do is enable uh, a market in an industry where now you have a portable form factor option so you can now take the um, lab to the field. So if you wanted to um, check for uh, contamination in, um, in a liquid uh, at the ocean, or if you wanted to um, analyze the grain in the silo, or go do the measurement of the grapes in the vineyard, now you're bringing the lab uh, testing to the field and getting more real-time information. Gina, if a designer wants to uh, play with this, um, how does he do that? Yes, absolutely. Well, they can visit TI.com, and this evaluation module is called the DLP Near Scan, N I R S C A N, and it uses the DLP 4500 NIR chip. And uh, all the information is found on TI.com slash DLP. That sounds pretty neat, Gina. So that, uh, that, that I think it's a lot of applications are going to open up because of this. Yes, uh, we're very excited and uh, definitely um, see a lot of interest and a lot of folks understand the, the value and power that DLP provides this new, new market. Thanks, Gina. Thank you.